Shukran uh, Komajina ni Rashid Yaqub Regional Police Commander Vila munaona muko na niko na wenzangu Haki Africa niko na Aipoa in charge region niko na wenzangu tujina CID leo tumewaita kuhusu mambo ya ya mambo yake ile ile hamisi jamaa wa hamisi juma idi kule uh, enuka lakini alipelekwa katika hospitali ya msambweni uh, akafa kule kwa hakika uh, rumors na social media iliandikwa mambo mingi mambo mingi na hatukukua kule kama viongozi but vile mnaona hapa tumeshirikiana uchunguzi itafanyika ikiwa hofsa wangu ataonekana amefanya kitendo ambayo sio mzuri ninahakikishia wananchi tukufu hatua tutaichukua kama kama vile mwananchi mwingine atachukua hatuta defend officer yetu wale ambaye kazi yao ni kupiga wananchi hatuwezi katika nafikiri ka college zetu za police hakuna mahali ilisema mwananchi apigwe excess force hakuna so whoever anafanya hiyo officers zangu ujue anafanya uh, kitu ambayo sheria haikubali na ukifanya bas shida ni yako uh, ya pili nilikuwa nataka kuongea kuhusu kafio kafio watu wa miscot juzu akisema regional police commander alisema sambili na nusu haikukua hivyo nilisema kafio vile rais alisema saa moja ni saa moja lakini tuko na challenge kule feri ambayo unakuta feri ni chache wana naye wananchi ni wengi magari ni mingi ndio unakuta saa zingine time tume extend sababu ya utu ya binadamu hao ni wazazi ni watu wetu hatuwezi kubali walale nje sababu ya kosa moja mbili kwa hivyo tulisema kafio tutarekeza kamba kule kwa feri sababu mwananchi hana makosa makosa ni eh, vile tunasafirisha wambeleni walikuwa wamezoea kujazana lakini tukasema eh, feri fulani itabeba watu kadhaa feri fulani itabeba watu kadhaa ndio unaona time ikawa nini prolong na vile vile eh, masaa inachukua masaa mingi Eh, kuhusu mambo ya kafi unafikiri hiyo tumeelewana wananchi tuhakikisha tumetii amri hii si ati si ati eh, polisi lazima wakuchunge si lazima ushikwe ndio uone ati umeshikwa sana sana wale business kwanza ma tuk tuk na vile vile watu wa boda boda jemeni muti amri nyinyi hamuti amri mtakuta saa 4 saa 5 mtu anaendesha uh, uh, pikipiki yake akienda wapi eh ndo mali sasa mtakosana na askari ukisomishwa hutaki kusimama sababu unajua uko na vitu ya, ya kukimbia unapita choro choro alafu utazanguka ujiumiza hatutaki hiyo ikiwa ni kitu emergency jamani sisi ni jamii yetu tunajua iko ugonjwa wa kila aina malaria itaweza tokea mtu anahitaji mambo ya dawa tutasaidia nyinyi kafio si kusema kufa kwa nyumba la kafio tuko hapa tukusaidia ukitoka zitambua mimi ni so so niko na hii shida na ninaenda mahali fulani utasindikishwa na hata na mpaka police officer na kama hauna gari hakikisha umejua na OCS hiyo area eh, ili usaidiwe gari ya kukutoa kwako kwa nyumba upelekwe mahali ambayo unaenda kama ni hospitali ama iko kitu ya dharura imetokea kwa hayo nafikiri na niko na swali umesema kwamba eh, kuna yale madai ambayo watu walio kumisikuwa toka sema kwamba uliweza hapa katika kaunti Mombasa iliweza ku extend curfew hadi saa mbili. Je, pengine ufafanue zaidi ilikuwa ni hiyo siku ya siku ya Ijumaa wakati eh, kulikuwa na changamoto pale feri ama ni hali ambayo itakuwa inaendelea? 
kwanza siku ile on Friday mliona tulikuwa kule zote ilikuwa ni haingewezekana tungesema tufunge hiyo masaa haingewezekana na jana Saturday na Sunday ni tofauti na siku zingine ikiwa leo itakuwa ni kama Friday vile vile tutafanya nini tutaendelea na hiyo hata kama ni saa mbili wananchi watabeba ili mtu yote asifanye nini asilale kule baranda ama asilale mali ambayo hataki tutahakikisha kila mtu amefika nini kwake salama salime lakini je pingine pingine ukiweza sema hivyo wakazi ama wenyeji ama abiria wanaotegemea huduma za feri wanaweza lege ama ku relax wakijua kwamba tutaweza kupewa nafasi ya kunini ya kuweza kuongezewa muda pingine ukisema hivyo wanaweza chukulia sasa eh, kwamba ni kawaida tukichelewa lazima tutapewa nafasi Uh, kumaanisha hiyo sio haitakuwa hivyo ikiwa una board ferry unajulikana huko area ya ya ferry wewe ukiwa mtu hapa ama ukiwa kule nyali useme ati nime niko na hii shughuli ati mambo ya ferry hii ilingani ikiwa unataka kwenda na ferry umechelewa area ya hiyo ya area ya ferry hiyo tutaangalia lakini si mtu ako kisauni muta ko changamo ya bana na tuweze naenda na hivyo na pia pengine wakati wa kafiu kuna malalamishi kwamba katika maeneo ya bamburi kuna uharibifu pengine ambao umekuwa ukishuhudiwa kama afisa wa polisi ni mikakati ipi ambayo mmeweza um, kuweka ili kuhakikisha kwamba usalama wa wafanyabiashara wa kazi uh, umeweza kudumishwa uh, kwa hakika nakiri hii muda hizi mliona patrols ya police iko hali ya juu sana. Iwe ni foot patrol, iwe ni eh, mobile patrol, iwe ni undercover police officers tuko na police kilaina. Na tunashukuru Mungu tangu ikavyo ituanze hata crime imeenda chini si kama ile wakati mwingine. Kumaanisha present ya police wako kule. Ah na swali la mwisho kwa pengine kwa sasa E, kuna baadhi ya watu ambao wanasema kuna court order ambazo zinatolewa wanaharibiwa mali na polisi je pengine kuthibitisha tu kama e, mkuu wa polisi anasimamia ukanda wote zima wa pwani kauli yako ni ipi kutoka na swala hilo uh, kwa hakika nafikiri mambo ya court court mumaela court ma suspend kazi hiyo court order sio imetoka hapo saizi kwa hivyo mambo ya court order hiyo lazima tuichunguze kama iko hatuwezi kimbilia atakwenda kuivict mtu ama nini lazima tuhakikishe kotini imepeana hiyo court ama ni ile ya, ya bandia kuhusu nini upande wa Aipoa sisi mimi naitwa Rashid Ngolowe Kesa I'm the regional coordinator coastal region for Aipoa na kuhusu mambo ya investigation sisi Aipoa tulipopata report tumeanza ku investigate na we don't discuss matters investigation uh, in public uh, matters investigations are confidential I'm not allowed to share anything concerning that. So if you have anything that you would want to clarify, then you can do it at uh, Aipoa headquarters which is in Nairobi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much. Nafikiri sisi kama shirika la haki Africa na watetezi wa haki kwa jumla. kwanza tumefurahishwa na matamshi ya regional commander ambaye ametuhakikishia kwamba hili swala la Hamisi Juma litachunguzwa kwa uwazi kabisa na ametuhakikishia vile vile kwamba ikiwa afisa yoyote atapatikana kuwa na makosa basi sheria itafuata mkondo wake and that is the kind of leadership in the security sector that we want to see that uh, you know is responsible and is communicating and giving assurances to the community that any officer who engages in any form of uh, you know public uh, disquiet or uh, in any way engaging in harassment then that individual officer will face the law 
Uh, we are happy uh, that IPOA have already taken up uh, the issue of uh, Hamisi Juma, and the matter is under active investigation as we speak. We are calling on, uh, on the family members, but also members of the public, to allow IPOA and the police to do their work. We have confidence that uh, you know, uh, the outcome that will be presented to us will be a fair and impartial outcome that we will then support and get to the bottom of the, of the, of the problem. On the issue of uh, curfew, we are appealing to members of the public. Tafadhali hasa watu wa Mombasa upande wa likoni, tafadhali tufuate maagizo na muda tuliyoekewa. Tunawaomba matajiri hasa wale ambao wameandika watu. Please release wafanyikazi mapema, especially wale wanaenda upande wa feri. Waweze kufika majumbani, waweze kutii ile amri. Kwa sababu hii kafi imewekwa kwa sababu yetu sisi wenyewe imewekwa kutulinda sisi. Kwa hivyo tafadhali uh, ambao wameajiri watu tuweze kufuata maagizo, tuweze kurilizu watu waweze kufika majumbani kwao. Na usiku tunashirikiana na vitengo vya, vya usalama pamoja na polisi kukiwa kuna shida yoyote tunaweza kuelezewa na tutaweza kushirikiana na vitengo vya usalama kuhakikisha um, haki imeweza kutendeka. Asante. Asante. Bueno, ahora sí. Pues ya me